Well, Barry, we're finally here. We're finally doing it. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lever X. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. You know, same old, same old. And uh, we are back with Mr. Miles Davis, and he's bringing a couple friends with him. That's including uh, David Sanborn. He is appearing on Night Music, which we've done um, maybe like two or three videos from the show. Um, Surprisingly, there was a lot of music shows back then, uh, way more than there are now. There's like no music shows anymore. And if it is, it's some stupid like MTV real life, you know, just what well, real life reality TV sort of thing, you know. Um, so I miss shows like that. I mean, uh, even when I, growing up, they had, you know, different music stuff on MTV and VH1 and stuff like that. And they still kind of gave a crap about music. It wasn't completely dead yet like it is now. Um, but alas, let's go. Thank you again to our alpha patron, Barry, for picking this. Um, it's about 20 minutes long, so light one up, do whatever you gotta do, you know. Um, just uh, let's let's relax. This is probably gonna be real good. Alrighty. And I have some other stuff by Miles Davis I'll link throughout the video up there. Uh, I've done the full album. Um, I always think it's not Jenny Mitchell Blue, because I've done kind of blue. I think that's what it was. I always forget the name of it. Um, we've done that. We've done uh, Witches brew you know because i got demonetized for that song name i can't even say it all right here we go miles davis on night music with david sanborn 1989 three two one there he is ladies and gentlemen miles davis <laughs> He's so happy. Hair, bro. I dig it. Late 80s, baby. <laughs> got like that muter or whatever on the end of it. I always forget what it's called. Oh. Uh, Dave is just waiting to come in, bro. <laughs> Can't wait. Bass line is funky.
The flute and the trumpet sound great together. I love that motif, it's so cool sounding. Marcus, right? Huh. Marcus on the base, obviously. Not Clear that up first. It's got this dark, almost like industrial feel to it, almost. It's so strange. I love it. It's definitely late 80s, early 90s. The sound of it, at least. Yeah. That was sick. I wish I knew what these song names were, man. <laughs> Miles is a legend, man. So is Marcus and David. I don't have a full personnel list, so I'm actually I'm gonna check right now if I have something. Miles David. Alright. So Miles, Miles. Before we start, I wanted to ask you something. What? When I first got in your band. I remember the first day I played with you. That day I left that studio, I was walking on a cloud, right? I played with Miles Davis. Everybody, everybody here, you felt that feeling, right? That first day you played with Miles, right? <laughs> I bet, dude. I got in the cab, told the cab driver, check it out, I told the cab driver, man, I played with Miles Davis. The cab driver said, Mark Davis? Yeah, I like him, good singer, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I, I got one. You, what I want to ask you. Yeah, it was Marcus, all right. Before, before you get angry, what I want to ask you is it. <laughs> Have you ever felt that? Have you ever had that feeling from somebody playing with somebody and you felt like this was the biggest thing you ever did in your career? Not really. But, uh, <laughs> I used to want to quit when I was with What a cool her. cat, Charlie bro. Parker, that's every, every, night. Night. every night. Cool cat. He just didn't say nothing. And and you didn't talk to him? Back, he's just... But no, you, never talk. But didn't you feel like that when you played, him, played with him at first? No. Or dizzy? I just felt like learning some more so I could play with him, you know, I wasn't like... <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I wanted to ask you is about your clothes, right? Well, I know, he no, said, no, hold on, hold on. Stories, no, no, I'm not going to tell any story. I'm not, he's, he's worried I'm going to tell Miles Davis stories, but I'm not going to tell any Miles Davis stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the book. The book. What? What were you wearing in that video? The, the video that we just saw? A green gabardine suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> he know his stuff, yep. You didn't, have, you, didn't have, you didn't have any tie on either, did you? I had a black sweater or something like this. With like you were telling me that uh, the fact that you guys didn't wear ties, that was a big thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you were supposed to be like... Yeah, you were supposed to be like... Button up. 
Well, anyway, we got to play. So, anyway. Nah, keep Mr. talking, David, bro. We're going to do a song. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me introduce the song. The song's called Mr. Pastorius. It's on your last album, my mama, right? Pastorius. His breath controller is just absolutely out of this world. I played trumpet in like middle school for a little bit. Not for me, but it's a fun instrument. Okay, got that. Tenor sax out. Or is that soprano sax? Piccolo bass? So good, bro. One of the best. The sound that thing gets is crazy. Oh. What a beautiful tone. So mournful. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna sing those one more song. If only this show still existed. 
Now, who would play on it? Over the past few months while making these shows, uh, we often recorded more songs than we were able to use at the time. A lot of these songs featured a combination of people, and sometimes I was among them, as on this next tune, which is Hannibal, played by the Miles Davis Band. Hannibal. so cool. That slight percussion is real good. Damn. Shrieking. I wish I was like half as cool as Miles Davis, bro. <laughs> Best one so far, and that's uh, that's saying something. Get it, Dave. Got some soul in him. <laughs> this is 
is incredible, bro. <laughs> Worth every second, Barry. I was about to shout out the keys, and for every single, or for the first, the first song in this song have been great. Bring it back down to earth. That was awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. What a cool cat, bro. That's one cool dude. Rick James was never. I've had a sore throat for 33 years. I was wondering what's up with his voice. I know you guys will probably tell me. October 18th, 1989, New York City, New York, Miles Davis, Kenny Garrett, David Sanborn, Joe McCreary, Adam Holzman, Marcus Miller, Ricky Wilman, Don Elias. So it was Tutu, Mr. Pastorius, and Hannibal. And all three of them were written by Marcus Miller? Is that what that's saying? Huh. Well, that was absolutely uh, incredible. <laughs> I uh, When Barry sent that one in at the beginning of the month, I was like, all right, I'm going to save that one for the end of the month because it's a longer song. I always save the longer ones for the end of the month because I run out of Patreon requests to do. And uh, then I kind of, you know, spread out with the PayPal ones and then, you know, do the longer ones from Patreon. Um, so I kind of wanted to save this one for the end of the month. And uh, I was going to do it this weekend, but I had another one, the another kind of jazz adjacent song or jazz in general, uh, the Dave Brubeck quartet song we did. So I wanted to save this for today. And I'm very glad that I did. Uh, <laughs> we had a, you know, a very, you know, kind of chill day. Nothing really popped off, you know, kids were good, you know? So I just, um, just to be able to sit down and enjoy this and absolutely groove, <laughs> just have the, the time of my life, just listening and watching that, man, that was, um, that was great. Thank you so much, Barry. Um, I love these, you know, uh, just jazz, jazz fusion, whatever you want to call, you know, Miles Davis, you know, that's, he's his own genre, basically. Um, he's done everything, you know, uh, from the modal jazz to jazz fusion. Like he's been all over the spectrum and, uh, I don't know, like he's definitely the best, if not one of the best, just, you know, overall jazz musicians of all time. It seems like from what I've seen, and I, we've done more than a few on the channel at this point, and I've, I've been, I know, I kind of dipped my toes in at first, but then I jumped in with the, the fusion stuff, and I don't know, man. <laughs> it doesn't really get much better than this, especially with Sanborn coming in there. Um, and who was the other saxophone player? It was Kenny Garrett was the other guy on saxophone, and then Sanborn, of course, on the alto sax. See, it just says he was on the alto sax for, so who was playing that weird looking thing? The only weird thing I see in here is a piccolo bass, but that's for the first and the third track. So that wasn't even on the second one. So I guess that was just some like altered alto sax. I never see an alto sax look like that. That was crazy looking. Um, or maybe I'm singing like a tenor sax, but no, because he was playing that. All right, I'm going to let it go. Um, so yeah, he was the other saxophone player, and uh, I thought he did a great job at Sanborn. Every time he came in, man, you just immediately felt the energy in the piece completely shift in some way or another when he jumped in every single time, man. And it was, I kind of wish there was a little more Sanborn, uh, Sanborn and um, a little higher on the drums. I don't know what's been going on in the past few days. It's, it's a lot of the songs, the drums have been so low and I'm like, man, come on, we could do better than this guys. <laughs> um, I know that it's uh, night music, probably, you know, converted over from a VHS tape. You know, I'm not expecting the world from it, but honestly, Miles Davis still makes it sound so good, dude. I mean, good God. The sounds that come out of that trumpet, I've never heard anything like it. I mean, I've and I've listened to a lot of stuff on here now. There is very few things that match the sound that come out that comes out of Miles Davis' trumpet. That thing is it's almost otherworldly. It's like another 
it's like a sound from another dimension at points. Like, it's just like, whoa, what the hell is that? Every time I hear it, you know, and it's just, I don't know. It just kind of scratches an itch that you didn't know that you had. You know what I mean? And it's just like, oh, wow, that feels real good. <laughs> that sounds real good. I like that. I think I want more of that. You know, that's how I feel with Miles Davis stuff. Um, when we did the whole, you know, kind of blue um, LP. And that was a fantastic record all the way through. It definitely uh, changed everything. Just like uh, Witches Brew, you know, changed a lot of things too. It feels like he uh, set the tone for so much for like the next, you know, coming generations of music you know like he uh he's the godfather of that f flavor of jazz even though he's done everything you know if everyone knows miles davis and i kind of didn't like i knew his name that's the thing with a lot of these people i know their names i've heard the names i've read the names I just never listened to the music you know and miles davis is one of those people and um <laughs> i'm glad that i finally got to see what he looked like i mean this is from 1989 so this is obviously when he's older um yeah, the, the jerry curl and everything you definitely could tell that was the late 80s early 90s oh my goodness the clothes the hair i love it <laughs> you can just tell immediately like oh yep that's the 90s almost you can 89 that was pushing 90 right there um and i loved every second of that i really think the third song hannibal was my favorite of the three songs um even though i really did enjoy the dark almost industrial feel of the first track with the keys and the bass the the kind of repeating motif that they kept hitting it just uh it felt very very grimy almost like and a lot of the late 80s early 90s stuff was dark and grimy sounding i don't know if that has to do with the synthesizers or the keyboard settings or what but I've noticed that in a lot of the, the songs from that era uh, that have keys like this, you know, it, it, they definitely have like a very unique sound to that couple of year, you know, era right there. And it was definitely present here. It's it, it reminds me of not in any kind of disrespectful way, it, it but this is the only comparison I have what it sounds like. It's uh, if you've ever played Nintendo 64, the soundtracks to the games on the Nintendo 64, like um, GoldenEye uh perfect dark um a bunch of the different ones they had like really amazing soundtracks for especially for video games back then you know and they always had this dark industrial kind of feel and that's what the keys and the synthesizer kind of felt to me in the first and the more than the first and the third but the first track um yeah i, I felt like that was the best part of that side of things. That was Adam Holzman. Um, but Marcus Miller, I mean, good God. <laughs> How much cooler can you get? I mean, Miles Davis is up there, and, then Mar and so is Marcus, dude. They are just, just the coolest dudes ever, bro. I swear to God. They just irradiate awesomeness just watching them you know what i mean and he marcus just puts everything into it it's, it's so hard for me not to shake the camera and just go full on you know I, my generation likes to really move when we listen to music so <laughs> i was really into that man especially that third the first and the third track the second one was very um kind of reminiscent to the older stuff before um witches brew i'll say i'll just say brew from now on you know uh that kind of reminded me of kind of blue in a way um but the other two didn't remind me of anything i heard from miles davis you know but it said at the end there that marcus miller was the composer of all three of those tracks so i don't know if those are marcus miller tracks i don't know you guys will fill me in like that's why i'm not saying anything like declarative because obviously i don't know and it doesn't say here um right let me just double check yeah, it says that they're all written. So it was Tutu, Mr. Pistorius, and then Hannibal, all written by Marcus Miller. Huh. Interesting. Well, I, either way, Miles Davis absolutely slayed that. So did Marcus Miller. Um, the drummer, I, I, I'm not going to lie, like I heard everything, but I was so focused on everything else, I kind of left Ricky. Um, you know, because you didn't get many shots of him, and like you just got all the shots of Miles, Marcus, David, all the other people, you know. Uh, honestly, you got more shots of the other percussion, uh, Don Elias, more than anything, you know. Um, but I still think uh, he did a great job for what I could hear. Um, this, the sound was definitely way more focused on the trumpet and the bass and the, the sax, obviously, because it's Marcus Miller, uh, David Sanborn, and Miles Davis. I would focus on them too, you know. Um, and like I said, I'm very grateful for these shows and these programs because obviously um, these legendary combinations of people and stuff never would have happened, you know, without, you know, something like this existing or they're just, you know, going in on a project together. You know, I feel like um, you guys are very lucky in so many ways with the music stuff because nowadays, now they took music out of the schools. It's almost like a lost art at this point. Like, obviously, still people want to do music, but they want to take the easiest route possible. And, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's like a bell. I don't know. 
a bell grade, bell curve, whatever it is, you know, it's, uh, they just want to do the least amount of effort and uh, make the most amount of money with most things. That's what it feels like, you know? Um, and, you know, and then someone could honestly just say, that's rich coming for me. I'm just reacting to videos and stuff. But that's why I try to put, I, I've been, uh, let's say I've been alerted by YouTube that uh, most of my videos do um, count as fair use because of how I bring my life into it and things about that and talk about the music and stuff. It's not just me listening to the music saying, Hey, this is, this is cool. And then that ending the video after like 30 seconds, if it, after it's over, like a lot of reactors do, you know, um, <laughs> I just want to be able to like do this, even though I, I don't make money from half the videos, you know, so it doesn't even really matter if it's monetized or anything like that half the time it feels like, but I don't know. I just like, <laughs> uh, it, YouTube is on my side with most things and they let you know, um, what you can do better, you know? So that's why I kind of add as much as I can without going too overboard. Um, but that was absolutely fantastic in every way possible. I'd have to go with, uh, Hannibal as my favorite of the three, but they all three rocked. Thank you again, Barry, our alpha patron, Barry. That was fantastic. And I look forward to doing, um, the wrecking crew documentary next month for you. That, that that's going to be fun. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think that's it though, guys. Uh, that was, that was excellent. What'd you guys think? Uh, and if you have any other tracks by any of these guys, Marcus, uh, miles, David, anybody leave it down below. I'll definitely check it out. And, uh, I'll see y'all later. Patreon right there. Yep. That's a picture of it. Uh, there's a link in the description. I just added the new $60 tier, which is called da -da -da -da, the ultra tier. <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives. Um, so that's for three songs of combination of 20 minutes. Basically, you know, I just, it's all about the the minute lengths, basically. It's how it goes. Sorry for y'all to have to bust out the calculator to get minutes and stuff like that. And if it's a couple seconds over twenty, you know, I'm not gonna be. I'm not. You guys know, like it's fine. Just talk to me about it. Just let me know so I don't like go into it. I'm like, aha, you know. <laughs> um, I just appreciate having such a wonderful community of just such loving, supporting, and really knowledgeable <laughs> and cool people, man. Like y'all have got such a great taste in music, and I'm so glad you're uh, nice enough to share it with me uh so thank you um and also there's a paypal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way thanks for watching y'all i'm out